One of the things the Tin Can API, also known as the X API, is designed to help is the process of getting tracking data from external systems into the Learning Record Store. In this video, I'm going to give you an example of that process using WordPress as the activity provider and Learning Locker as the Learning Record Store. We'll start with WordPress. In this installation, I've got it set up so that you have to log in before you can see any pages. Once we're in, we can see a typical website. This might be an intranet site or even something provided by a third party organization like a management training portal. As I click around the site, it just behaves as a normal website. But all the time, a plugin called Grassblade is keeping track of which pages I've viewed. Grassblade stores the data as an XAPI statement. This has three main parts. The name of the actor, that's my test user. The name of the activity, that's my test page, a description of what I've done with regard to the activity, known as the verb. In this case, when I log into WordPress as an administrator, I can see that Grassplate has recorded that Wyver test, the actor, has experienced, the verb, several pages, the activities. Each statement has a whole load of data sitting behind it, such as where it's come from, when it was created, what browser was being used, and a whole lot more. At the moment, the only verb used is experienced, because that's all we can say about these pages. But of course, Grassblade could be extended to record other information, based on different WordPress post types, for example, or based on activities you might do within a page. That's all fine, but if I need to keep the data centrally, for example, for analysis to compare it to other data sources, I need to plug in a learning record store. And in this case, I'm going to use Learning Locker. I've told Grassblade about Learning Locker and given it a username and password to use. Now Learning Locker is tracking every piece of information that Grassblade sends it. Once Learning Locker has the data, then it can start running reports against it. At its simplest, we could look for all the activities that an individual has experienced from across multiple systems. Or we could look at all the people who have experienced a particular activity. As long as we're consistent in the use of the verbs across multiple systems, we now have a very rich data source, which could then be used to drive automatic recommendations to individuals, or even to drive what types of resources and learning activities we need to create. Even better, if you are tracking how people are doing in their work inside the LRS, you can then make connections between the learning activities and the performance achieved.